Hello friends, welcome to my Terry Joe's On The Go series. Today we are featuring the Inner Harbor of Baltimore, Maryland. We are looking at the Patapsco River. Patapsco River is 39 miles long and spans four counties. It runs through the harbor and into the Chesapeake Bay. Patapsco translates into backwater or tide covered with froth. An interesting thing to note, Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner on the Patapsco River during the War of 1812. This is one of three restaurants that sit right outside the hotel where I'm staying. Now this is a sushi restaurant. There's a Mexican restaurant and there's also a seafood restaurant. All three restaurants are located at the Four Seasons Hotel. This, my friends, is the Mexican restaurant. I got so excited that I already took a bite. But this is my take. Yes, fish tacos for lunch. And oh my goodness, they're so good. And this is the Lock Bar, the third restaurant located at the Four Seasons Hotel, overlooking Baltimore's Inner Harbor. This is a bowl of the cream of crab soup at the Lock Bar. Right here on the harbor, my friends, a store after my own heart. Yes, it's now this section of the harbor, as I've mentioned before, there's an abundance of restaurants, but we have this store. Oh, hell's bells. It's an Under Armour kind of a day. And you bet your aspirin that I'm gonna go in and take a look. And this is the women's section. What I'm looking at so far is not exactly my style. So, I'll keep looking. idea of how close the Under Armour store is to the harbor, we're swinging around. And there it is. So if you're in Baltimore and you want to come shopping, this is on Lancaster Street, right at the harbor. This is my take from the Under Armour store. Just what I needed. Another pair of sweats. <laughs> I love them. We are now at Exeter and Lancaster Street, and this is Charleston. Last night, I walked by this restaurant, and they had soft shell crabs. Now, soft shell crabs are very seasonal, and that is a culinary term for a crab that is molded its shell, and they're removed from the water as soon as they've molded prevent hardening of the shell. But my goodness, those soft shell crabs look delicious. Hmm, perhaps that's an idea for Din Din. My friends, that's our next destination. There are many pedestrian bridges here at the harbor so that you can take yourself to the other side. This is the Living Classrooms Foundation. It's a school that works to make neighborhoods in Baltimore and Washington, D.C. safer, stronger, and healthier through programs designed to support academic and career success, interrupt the cycles of poverty, and provide students with the skills needed for individual success. 
Well, I have to attribute this to not being familiar with the area, but I was trying to get over to this residential section to see what was over there. And I crossed this bridge, but you cannot get to this section from where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna to have to backtrack to where I just came from. We're at International Drive, about one block away from the harbor. And I found a couple more stores. J. Crew and Anthropology. So I guess if you walk up a block or two, you can do some shopping. Well, friends, that looks like the bridge I need to cross to get over to the other side. That's what I was trying to do when I was up there at the other bridge, but it didn't quite work out. This looks like a really nice residential area over here. I would just like to go take a gander and see what is over there. There's gotta be more shopping opportunity. My best option would have been to take a water taxi. They run up and down the harbor about every 35 minutes. Now this is interesting. I've noticed these things all around the harbor. And what you do is obviously you rent these things. And there's another one right there. And you download the app and it's called L-I-M-E, the uh, Lime app. See that scan? So I think you take a picture of that or you scan it um, and you give them your credit card information and they charge you so many cents per minute. And people are all just riding these all over the place. So when you're done, you just park them. So anyone could come up and rent one of these, which is pretty neat. Well, friends, I am on the other side now. I crossed over, the, this was a pedestrian bridge. And that right there is where I am staying, the Marriott. By the time this video finds its way to YouTube, I will be home. So I don't feel I'm disclosing any privileged information. <laughs> and we've got another restaurant. Boy, I'll tell you, you won't go hungry if you're at the Inner Harbor, that is for sure. The seven-foot Knoll Lighthouse marked the outer entrance to Baltimore's busy harbor and was manned from 1856 until 1948 when the Coast Guard automated it. In 1988, the seven-foot Knoll Lighthouse was officially retired. With the help of a barge and 460-ton crane, Crews moved the lighthouse to Pier 5 in Baltimore's Inner Harbor. Today, the lighthouse is a National Historic Landmark, welcoming visitors daily. Now this is a different view of the harbor, because again, I'm on the other side of the waterway. And as you can see, that building is uh, lit up blue this evening. Last night, it was pink. I'm referring to that water. You can see the boat that's sitting in some water. <laughs> that's the water I am referring to. Not that water. <laughs> Mr. Trash Wheel. I've been staring at this contraption since I arrived and I finally know what it is. So Mr. Trash Wheel combines old and new technology to harness power from the water and sunlight to pick up litter and debris that flows down the river. So he's helping all day long. He's a friend of the environment, and we thank you, Mr. Trash Wheel, for your service. Hello, YouTubers. So I wanted to show you guys um, 
the new sweats. That's what I'm gonna wear today. And I'm actually on my way out. I got off to a really slow start today. And I can only hope that Mother Nature cooperates because I'm looking out there. It's a cloudy, it's cloudy, excuse me. Um, it's supposed to rain today. Hindsight being 2020, I should have gotten out of this room a lot earlier. But anywho, I am on my way out now. I'm going to ask if there's a shopping district in the area and see what we can come up with. And I'll uh, catch you guys a little bit later. Okay, friends. I am at Market Plaza at Pier 4. Now, this is a well-known seafood chain. I know there's one in Ocean City, Maryland, and we have another one here. They sell some of their foods in food markets, actually, but I'm sure it's much better getting it at the restaurant. <laughs> and if we continue to pan down, we will see. The Hard Rock Cafe. We're still looking at the Hard Rock Cafe. I'm doing voiceovers in the next few clips due to background music. I don't want to be cited for copyright claims. The music that I use, I check it first to make sure I won't get cited for copyright. Uh, this is Marketplace and Lombard Street. And we're just looking at uh, some more uh, stores. And there's also a children's museum that will be coming up in the next clip. So this is the Port Discovery Children's Museum, located at Market Place and Lombard Street. Hello, YouTubers. I am filming this on Tuesday morning. I am about to check out of the hotel. I've had a lovely stay. Uh, the reason I'm showing you this section of the harbor, it is the one section I was planning to go to yesterday and I did not make it over there. So I missed a whole section of the harbor uh, to put onto this video. And the reason is mother nature. Uh, yesterday was, not only was it rainy all day, it was cold and it was windy. So I stayed within the immediate area of the hotel and I've already gotten video uh, of that area. So I thought, well, I'm going to put this up and, and point it out and apologize to you all. <laughs> but, you know, you don't argue with Mother Nature. It is what it is. But, um, okay, my friends. Many thanks to everyone for joining me on this adventure.